Today we will look at the Huawei Mate View. A not so easy to pick up monitor because it is a little bit on the heavy side, but it is a really nice monitor. I mean, look at it. It has really slim design and it has a lot of features like Type C to the laptop with charging. So today we will look at the Huawei Mate View and all of its features. So let us start right away. Let us first talk a little bit about the design of this Huawei Mate View. And like I told you before, it has really slim looking and nice design. So you can put it, I would say, anywhere and it will look really good because you can watch it from the back or you can watch it from the front and all the others will say, hey, look at it, how nice it looks. But there has to be some disadvantages with this design. And one of these disadvantages is you have to have the stand on the back because the stand is where your connections are. So you can see here's an HDMI connection, your Type-C connection. So all the connections are in here and this is how they achieve this extremely thin looking design. So yes, and the connections, you have Type-C, you have a Type-C for your laptop and if you want to, you can put your monitor a little bit above or a little bit down like you wanted because for the ergonomy, I would say, this is the most basic and most important thing if you want to have a healthy look on your monitor. I believe you already awaited it, but now we'll connect this monitor to my trusty laptop. And the connection process is really easy. You have this type, this type C cable, which supports display port and one additional thing, power charging. So you can charge your laptop through this monitor, but let us connect it first. So you put it in here. This is a little bit type C. You can, if you want to, use a display port as well. So you don't have to use a Type-C if you are on the internet or if, you're, if you use a PC and your laptop doesn't support it. And then all you have to do is connect it and you will see here is my display. So it really is as simple as that. You put it into power and then connect it. And to have a quick reminder for you, you can see this affiliate link for this product in the description below. So you can get more information about this product and if you buy something, you support me. So I would really like it if you check this link out. After you connected your monitor to your laptop, this monitor can do a lot more than I believe you think it could do. First of all, you can connect the USB or something similar in here. You have two slots and then you can just go to your data on your USB on your laptop. So. This is really useful and another advantage of using Type-C. Then you can, of course, stream music, or I shouldn't say of course, because most monitors can't output music, but he can. And I will show you a little bit of a song. So here's the song, Knowledge is Power, which I think is a good representation. And I would say the sound in general is acceptable but it's of course not the best. So many laptops will have a better sound, but if you use a PC, then this is a lot better than you will ever get. You don't have to use separate speakers here. So it is a clean looking and acceptable sound. I would say it's comparable with the laptop, but a little bit not so good. Since I'm connected to the laptop right now, I can show you one more really nice thing. And this is its screen to body ratio. So your screen to body ratio shows you how much black there is in comparison to your full screen. So here you got a screen to body ratio with 94%. So you can say really the full monitor is covered and only a little bit is black on each side. So here's a little bit black, here's a little bit black, here's a little bit black. And there's no real curving coming out. So normally you have monitors where here is a little bit over, which doesn't look really good, but you don't have this here, all is flat and there's nothing coming out which makes this a nice experience. If you thought this video will be over now, you are in for a surprise because there are, there are a lot more things I'll tell you about this monitor right now. First of all, you get a really nice smart bar, which you can see here. You can use this to control your monitor because your monitor has a lot of features like you can switch the input if you want to go from Type-C to DisplayPort or you can monitor the output from your sound. So all you can do, you can do all of this with your smart bar here, which looks nice because this monitor is all about its design 
and 3D function as well because you just have to slide and your sound will go higher or down like you want it to. And you get a 4K plus resolution. So you get 28.2 inches, which is a little bit more than 27 inches. And the thing here is they didn't just stretch longer, but they gave it more into the downside. So here it is a little bit longer than normal, but this width is the same as normal. And the advantage of this is if you do something like video editing or if you scroll through a page, then you get this extra space which gives you a little bit more to read or to edit and it's really useful. Where it isn't useful is if you watch a video, then this will just be black and you can't use it. But if you do other things, then it is really practical and I would say it is really a nice feature. Another feature of this monitor is wireless projection. So you can use your laptop or your smartphone or any other device that supports it and mirror your smartphone to your monitor. The advantage of this is it's easy and really convenient. So just go to your smartphone, connect to the monitor and there you have the picture. But the disadvantage of this is if you say use your laptop, then there's one small disadvantage because the resolution isn't going to be 4K. You have to go for a resolution like full HD. You can crank it up all to, full, all to 4K, but it doesn't really, it's responsive anymore. So if you go with your mouse, it goes really slow. And because of this, if you want to use the wireless projection, you should be, um, you should be happy with full HD, but nothing more. But for this convenience, it can be really good if you want to connect it really fast with your mobile phone. But in general, I would really advise you to use your Type-C cable if you want to connect it with this monitor. And for all the videographers or if you edit your photos or something like this, I have good news because this monitor has 98% DCI-E P3 and it has Delta under two. So it is relatively good in the color accuracy. If you like this video where I talk about this who I made for you, please consider to give this video a like and I would really like it if you stick around for one more video and let's see you again.